Doc Blade from Forensic Golf. So let's continue our series on activating the shoulder girdle. It's very important for you to get it. And the reason I say this is uh, traditional golf instruction has been overwhelmed by the golf swing starts from the bottom up. The hips are flaring and everything. Well, during that time, the arms and the shoulders have taken second fiddle to the golf swing. Now the swing is a dynamic, athletic swing in motion. So once the swing starts, the whole body has to be involved with it. Again, remember we have two sides with the body that work interdependent on each other. All right, they're interdependent on each other. That's why we always working to stay upright. Something's always working. If you try to fall down, an arm sticks out. Just naturally, that's how the body works. We're always trying to work on counterbalances and counter forces. It's the way that the, the, the most high, the great person in the sky, or wherever you think the person is, that's the way they made the human anatomy, is to always deal with counter forces and counter balances. So when we say activate the shoulder girdle, I want to tell you about one thing that's important. A lot of times in the swing, I got a client right now, he's taking a swing and he's getting a, it like a really good swing. But what happened, he just lifted the arms. He didn't activate the shoulder girdle to get behind the ball. You want to be inside and behind the ball. Remember that. You want to have the feeling that you're inside and behind. Think about John Rahm. Think about Tony Finau. Think about all those guys that take these little three-quarter swings, but they get a nice shoulder activation. Remember, the shoulders work as a piston in the golf swing. They work up and down. The shoulders work under. When they start working around, that's when you start hitting some wayward shots. The shoulders work under. So go to the practice tee and hit half shots and three quarter shots with the sole purpose of making sure the shoulders are working under. The shoulders are working under. The shoulders are working under. Build that into your golf swing and it's gonna make a world of difference. Slight little pull on that ball, but it was good contact, and I just pulled it with the wedge. But the purpose was the shoulders still worked under. I felt the shoulders working under. I'm on the left side of the green. Not the greatest shot with a wedge in your hand. But the purpose is drill down on the move motion that we're trying to work on. Another thing I can tell you, every shot has a purpose. Every shot has a target. So when you're out there working on it, pick out very small targets and work toward those. It's going to make a world of difference. Hey, folks, check out the website. Come join it www.forensicgolfinstruction.com Tons of information on there that you're not going to see on YouTube. We got great programs on there to get you back on track. Hey, get that speed out front. Trust the process. But most of all, keep grinding.